I'm gonna move my back. A broken sword to you. The smoky mirror. We master, and I'm eating crisps. Jungle village fire. Alright. That barrel would have looked great on my patio, filled with shrubs. It was a small drinking vessel made from some kind of gourd. That cup was no use to me. It had a hole in it. There was nothing in the barrel. The barrel contained cool, refreshing water. The barrel was too heavy to move. I'm dead now. It was a very hot and blackened stone. Hmm. Look at them chair. I don't really have anything to pick it up with. It was too hot to pick up. We'll talk to you. Uh, it Go. was a smashed lantern. Soon. Probably the cause of this destruction. I didn't need the lantern since it was still daylight. Besides, it was broken. I saw someone over here. No? It was Titipoko. I still hadn't forgiven him for knocking me out with his poison dart. These are Georges' shades, right? Has he been here? John! Where is he now? Eh? What? What's that? It looks like the stone we bought from Paris, but it's different. Yes! It has a carving of an eagle. That clinches it. George must have found this stone in the Caribbean and managed to hide the stone when the village was attacked by Karzak's men. I hope to God that George was all right. Where's George? George has been here, right? He was pointing to the smoldering remains of a hut. That can't be good. No. Might as well do this. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I damn it, one. There was nothing you. Of course, there wasn't. Come on, call. You want some chocolate? Tiki Poco. He wouldn't have one. Alright, we got a small barrel, a cup, a big barrel, mine stone, and something over there. Smash Lantorino! What does it want me to do? Can't die far over there, there's nothing over there. Alright. <coughs> um. Screw it. Taking a hand, I'm sitting here all day. Let's go to the entrance of the village. Maybe there's something there we could use? Is that a bullet, wasn't it? <laughs> well, what's this? Underpants. One thing I was sure of. Those underpants weren't drawers. Why did why? Why'd they leave them right here? It'll be full of shit. Maybe George can make use of these. <laughs> they were lovely underpants, really. Well well whatever you say. That won't Okay. No. No. Come on. Yeah, whatever. And over here. Can we 
go that way? No. Alright. Maybe we... Ooh, pick up the hot stone with the underpants? Maybe we wet it first, then pick it up. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Alright, wet the underpants. I'm all soggy and I wet. Thought about washing the underpants. Really? Alright, just pick up the fucking stone. The underpants weren't thick enough to protect... Oh, ho, ho. Come on, seriously, woman? I swear to God, like, what the hell is with this chicker? No. Deitch. Hey, Tia Poco, you want some, a pair of underpants? There was nothing I want. Yeah, well, whatever, woman. Just tell me what to do. I did that. I have a crying it loud. I just didn't. All right. Hey, Shorty, make yourself useful and help me with this barrel. It's not hard. Thanks. The ground was covered with ashes. The thought that they might. All right, don't do that then. It was the Coyote Stone, the original stone that I found in Paris. Bobby. I had the Coyote and Jaguar Stones, Titi Poco had the Eagle, according to the Shaman. That's all we needed to deal with Tezcatlipoca. Pity he hadn't any ideas for dealing with Karlzak. What is it? You that direction, you dumb woman. <coughs> God damn it. Keep using hints. Mind you, it is kind of late. And I'm still kind of hungry. After following the jungle path for a few hours, they encounter a boa and die. Fucking titan boas are a fucking arc. They're evil. Lever, fuel cup, button, engine, generator, cylinder. It was a small, screw fit cylindrical housing. Good, pick it up. Anything I can take to help me? Good. It looked like a fuel line. Good enough. It was an old electricity generator. The engine looked like it was supposed to power the lift. There was a lever mounted on the side of the motor. Did Titi Poco just get fatter? Or is that just me? It was a simple wooden platform lift. Used for shifting equipment, I presumed. The engine <coughs> looked like it... It was a small... <coughs> Go push the button, see what happens. The button didn't seem to do any... The button. All right. Oh wait, pick up the rope first before you talk to Titi Poco. Titi Poco. Wait, really? Um. Uh. uh um. No. Okay. Oh, maybe I use it with the lever. Oh, yeah, use it on Tiki Poco. <laughs> no. Nope, guess not. Hmm. What shall I use this with? Can I use the button? Not the fuel line either. I'll try everything. By God, I will. Where are you going? Go back here. Where are you, what are you? What are you doing? 
No, d d stop moving! Uh, you're fucked. He's gonna kill you now. Hey, Too late. I had been seen. What the hell? You walked right in front of him. Bonjour, Capitaine. <laughs> Only Sergeant, pretty one. What are you doing here? Uh... Snuggles said I could come here with him. Snuggles? Oh, I mean the general. We are, uh, friends. May I go up the pyramid? Ah, uh, we have strict instructions not to let anybody pass. Oh, but I've told you who I am. Surely nobody would mind. Well... Oh, please, I'd be ever so grateful. I tell you what, I'll ask Pablo if it's okay for you to go up. If Pablo saw me, I'd be dead. Uh, no, it's not worth the bother. I'm not really that interested in that stupid pyramid anyway. Well, okay. It's men's work up there anyway. I'll just run along and play around here, okay? Okay, you do that. I didn't want to push my luck. Yeah. It was a small, screw-fit, cylindrical house. You have to put someone in there. Well, I can't actually, you know. Alright, let me put this lever back up. Can't really get that cap off, can I? Alright, give me the rope. I'll talk to Titipoco first. Would you like some chocolate, Titipoco? It's good vintage. <laughs> You're smarter than you look. Yeah. How did you hook up with a maniac like Karzak in the first place? Karzak? Whoop whoop loco! Yes, he scares me too. Alright. Tell me I can use this rope with the elevator. I guess not. Tell me I can use this rope with... Titipoco. Any ideas what I can do with this rope? He just looked at me. If anybody was going to come up with a plan, it was go. Of course it was. I tried the engine. I was trying to fuel. No, no, fuel cap didn't work. Can 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 cancel your movement. Don't even think about walking over there. I know you, Nico. You like to randomly walk over in directions. God damn it! Yep, great. <coughs> As I was, I had to get in. How I get the fuel, mind you, you fucking unknown. I'm a fuel line. Oh, I might have to transfer the fuel from here to here. I think get that cup, oh, hop cap open first. Hmm. Let's see. Give me the bag option, Nico. Thank you. Hmm. 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 Nope. Yeah, I use this on the fuel line. Oh, hey, that worked. Look at that. What are you doing? I think I had to do this. Pick up sea rope. I'm completely guessing here. Ah, God damn it! All right, screw the rope. Just press the button.
The motor spluttered into life. Nico, you wind me. If I do this, the elevator's gonna go out. Alright, oh, intuitive. The engine was working okay, but it wasn't connected to the equipment lift. Turn off. The engine. Ah! The underpants! Save me! Not really. <coughs> um. No, I don't think so. Maybe they connect this to the engine. And then to the elevator. Oh, for crying, like, give me the fucking hint now. I'm annoyed. Done it. Done it. Button. Lever. Titi Poco. Slap him in the face. The motor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The engine. Hey, Titi Poco. Titi Poco. Titi Poco. There was nothing I wanted to. The engine looked like. There was no. What did I say? Pull the lever and then talk to Tripoku about the lever. The engine. There was nothing I want. That's yeah, screw it. So we'll start, pull the lever and then talk to Tripoku about the lever. There was nothing. The motor. There was nothing. I. It was Titi. What's that? Press red button. Engine will start. Pull lever and then talk to Titi Poco about the lever. I did that, but he seems like an idiot. The engine was what. There was no Titi Boku. And he just looked at oh, for kind of lead. There was nothing I want. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. Stop the bitch. He wouldn't. God damn it, Nico. Right. <sighs> oh, nice. Start up the engine. Done. Press the red button and the engine will start. Done. Pull the lever and then talk to Titi Poco about the lever. Stand on elevator platform and interact with Titi Poco. I pulled the lever and talked to him, but nothing happened. Game? Oh, here we go. Oh, I swear to God. Really? The scaffold gantry went. There was nothing. Yeah, I should have good. The engine. There was nothing. Nico, could you please stop him? <laughs> Just.
stab him. Why can't you swing it up over there? Who got onto the thingy? The scaffold. It was Titibo. It was a. Si the engine looked. The cap was. It was a small. There was a. Li it was a length of. Yeah, strong rope. Oh God, am I? Yeah, 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 yeah. God damn, I'll be back. Here we go. I'm just gonna have to interact with every fucking thing just to get the work. Our little monkey, isn't he? Ugh. Rope with engine. Elevator. How damn Titipoco. Titipoco, when I tell you, I want you to copy what I am doing. Copy. Okay? Copy. George, I realize those bastards are going to sacrifice George to Tezcatlipoca over my dead body. Oh yeah, you done with your monologue? Can I do stuff here? Thankfully, George was the only one to notice me. Where are they? The eclipse is about to happen. Patience. Your mother will be here soon, and Karzak will be close behind. Just keep the Yankee covered and leave the worrying to others. Yeah, Raoul. The maniacs were going to sacrifice George. Shut up, Stobart. Just shut up. Calm down. He's no threat. Hey, Raoul, why don't you do us both a favor and shoot Pablo? You're very funny, Stobart. I haven't forgotten Marseille. When Karzak cuts your heart out, I'll be the one laughing. I'll bet I'm not the only one due for the chop around here either. Hey, Raoul? I'm warning you! Raoul was a bundle of raw nerves. I hoped George wouldn't push him too far. You and me both, Nicole Claude. There were a few sealed crates and drums. None of them looked like them. It smelled coppery, like blood. The whole place st- Karzak's goons had left an ammunition I don't know what to do. It was pa if Pablo had seen me, he'd have I might have been able to talk the general around it. General Rap It was a stone table. Given the history of the place, I wondered how many poor wretches had lost their lives and Karzak and his pet vermin had got Georges tied to the sacrificial table. I had to come up with a plan or he was as good as dead. Right. I couldn't get the belt into the flame. Hmm. Attack! If Pablo had seen. Anything else in the right around here? I wasn't going to risk being. Yeah, no, that'd be a bad idea. If Pablo had seen. God damn it. That was. Alright, let's figure something right over here. Uh, uh, no, that, that's the, no. No, you. No, that's, that isn't, I don't, 
that's the that would that would hmm. I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't get near the pot <coughs> right there's the eclipse almost happening there's not oh maybe I can if I can go back down, means I can distract the guards down here somehow. They may draw Pablo down. No, I didn't think so. Didn't think so either. Uh, fudge monkeys. Hello, Guda. Alright, give me a hint. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know I could grab this. I forget that you like you don't kind of stop me. No, don't click the ground, Nico. Fucking screen moving on me. I'll let the screen stop moving first. Clearly not, I don't do that. Okay. Let's Nico stop moving. Oh Nico, I swear. Stop moving. Okay, pick it up. Pick it up. No no no, don't move, don't move, don't move. Fuck sake, just give me all the hints right now. Right, another actor team will go and get him to light the torch, throw the mission into the fire, got ya. Uh, this just quickens it up. Kitty Poco, do you still have that lighter gun you pull on me so amusingly? Nothing's wrong. I dropped uh, a cigarette, but everything is under control. I'll have the fire out in a minute or two. Oh, okay, that'll help again. Okay, good. Is that it? Really? Oh, I forgot that part. My bad. Shit. Really want well another bag of crisps. Damn crisps. They fucking taste so good. Then there's the fox's biscuits. Oh, divine. Uh, Nico, you're standing kind of close to that. You could possibly get shot. Oh yeah, Nico's dead. Let's face it, realistically, Nico and pa uh, little Tidipoku Tidi are dead. Sporadic gunfire fire down below. Now my dog's barking. Hooray -o. What's that? What's happening? Trouble. Keep it up. The pyramid's surrounded. I'll find out what the trouble is. Watch Stover doesn't pull any tricks. Ah! If he does, ah! shoot him in the head. Not through the heart. Why does it matter? He'll be dead either way. His heart belongs to Tezcatlipoca. That's not true. We just had dinner a couple of times. <laughs> God damn it, George. Always provoking people. <coughs> it's the way he is. What's that? Don't worry yourself, my finger isn't loaded. Nico, what are you doing here? Firstly, I'm going to set George free, and then screw up Karzak's scheme. No, I can't let you do that. Karzak has promised me power. Raoul, wake up. The only thing Karzak has on offer is death. 
You may want to ask Goubier. Except you can't. Karzak murdered him. You're lying. Goubier is in Europe. Sure he's in Europe. In London, on a mortuary slab with two bullet holes in him. But Karzak promised. When he frees that Katlipoka, we'll all be granted great power. Listen to her, Raoul. Karzak's insane. I, I, I don't know. I, I need to think. You've let your mother do your thinking for you up to now. You need to think for yourself. Your mother and Karzak think alike. There's only one expendable member of the plan left, and that's you. Mother would never betray me. Oh, I'm tired of trying to reason with you, Raoul. Titipoko. <laughs> Watch this man, and if he makes a move, shoot him with your gun. Alright. Let's talk to George before we untie him. Hold still, George. I don't want to sacrifice you by accident. idea how glad I am to see you. They were going to cut your heart out. I think I can guess. We can save the happy reunions for later. We've got to move. Come on! Now what? We're safe. This is a dead end. We're toast. <laughs> I know, Tidipoko. I'm not too happy here either. You know, this is Tezcatlipoca's pyramid. The house of the enemy. Well, we can't stay here like rats in a trap. And we can't go out the way we came in. It would be suicide. I'll have a look round. Maybe there's another way out. In the meantime... Take this. It's the Coyote Stone. It might bring you luck, I hope. You managed to recover the stones from the village? Then we might have a chance after all. Incidentally, what would Titipoco have done if Graciento had moved? Titipoco? Nothing. He's given up violence. <laughs> what the joy here is that his gun is a lighter. This was a time for... Georges? Yeah? There was nothing up. On the wall was an intricate pattern in... Ooh. We're going to end this episode here, and I'm going to try not to use only religious significance. any hints for the f next episode. I'm a demon, and I'll see you soon.